All right, what we're going to do right now is very important in your experience with learning to play the guitar. We're going to be working with diagrams, and we're going to be learning chords and scales and, and different things on the instrument, and it's going to require you to know what things are labeled. And the things I'm talking about are your fingers, these strings, and the frets. They're all numbered. And I've worked with lots and lots of students, and it turns out that in the beginning, as they start to learn chords like we're going to very soon, they start to get a little mixed up with all these numbers. So I found if we take some time now and get very clear with this information, it's going to make everything go a lot quicker, a lot smoother. You'll be able to learn things much, much faster if you, if you can sort out what everything is numbered. So let's go through that now, and I'm going to show you some drills to get this information really into your head. And then when you work on these diagrams, uh, you'll, you'll see how much quicker it comes together for you. So let's start with the string numbers. And strings are numbered one through six. And it's from the skinniest string down here up to the sixth string here. Think of it as size. One, two, three, four, five, six. From skinny to thickest. So I, I'd have to say that after years of teaching, still to this day, everybody mixes up the string numbers. They tend to number things going away from what they're looking at. So they constantly think this is the first string, that's the sixth string. I'm going to show you how to get this down right now so you don't have to ever worry about it again. So let's just do a quick drill here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can sit and do this yourself. Just point at strings, say out loud the string number. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, one, five, one, six, three, five, two, four, three, six, four, one. You get the idea. Very simple drill. Just when you pick up your guitar for that day to practice, you spend a little bit of time doing that. You'll get it really solid in your head, and then you'll be able to keep track of the string numbers. It'll be very important, as you're going to see. Another thing that's important to keep track of are the frets. And we're going to be dealing with probably the first five frets for the first part uh, for a while. So let's just kind of get those down. And we have the first fret, second, third, fourth, and fifth fret. And then at the nut here, these are the open strings. So those are the strings where you play the string. without fingering at all. So that's open when it's at the nut. So all six strings share the first fret and the second fret, third, fourth, and fifth, etc. So you might find on your guitar that you have dots. You might have a dot here that's at the third fret. You probably definitely have a dot that's at the fifth fret. And those are there for reference. That's how you keep track of the fret. So it's open, third, and fifth. So open, one, two, three, four, and five. I'll point from up here. So let's go through and drill ourselves on that. Three, one, two, four, five, open, two, four, Open, five, one, four, three, four, open, five, one, two, open, four, three, five, Four, three, two, one, and open. 
So that too is a very good drill to do when you pick up your guitar, you're getting ready to practice, just orientating yourself. You're getting it down your, your eyes and, and your mind so you know everything is numbered. So we've talked about the string numbers, the fret numbers. Finally, we have the finger numbers. The fingers are numbered one, two, three, and four. So you can do the same drill there. One, two, three, four. Two, three, one, four, one, three, two, four, two, one, three, one, two, four. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. So if you spend time drilling yourselves on those three things, the string numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and six, the fret numbers, open, one, two, three, four, and five, and the finger numbers, one, two, three, and four, you want to get very solid with that because you're going to find that as we work with these chord diagrams, you're going to have to figure out a particular finger to put on a particular string at a particular fret. So that's three numbers. And when you can do that slowly and clearly and sort through it like this, then I'll make everything go very quicker.